Hey guys, hey, welcome back to Collateral Damage today. So guys, we're going to talk wood, but my the whole point of my channel is not to have necessarily a niche. It is simply supposed to be, I play video games, especially ones I enjoy, like this one. I really enjoy it. Shut up. I really enjoy this game, and with this comes, you either enjoy it with me, or you don't. They're not supposed to be super entertaining. They are, but they are supposed to be also gameplay. So either you have, so you can just read this, you know, find the story, figure it out, um, um, or at least have visible gameplay. So if you ever try and go and play a game that you've never played before, you at least can be like, oh, this is a this is good simple gameplay. I know how the game goes and stuff like that. Stuff like that. Then it's just me enjoying my own video games because i enjoy them a lot they are very fun for me these are also games i've played as a child so you know reminiscing about the past but my channel does not specifically have any sort of specific niche i am not like a challenger i don't go and do all the achievements i can't because i don't do multiplayer stuff i don't do online stuff so i'll never i'll never do it i'm not a speed runner i don't have enough time nor the skills to do that <laughs> sorry dust um, I don't have, I don't use PC, so I don't go and break the game. So, or I do have a PC, but I don't play games on it. So I don't break games. I don't mod them. I am a simple gamer who just has a lot of fun and knowledge in some games like this one. Specifically, I have over 637 hours. I think now it's like 640 some, but I have like, this one is the only game where I think I've actually pat or I've gone real close to a thousand, which hmm, not even close, but it's this is i am here to play games i'm here to just have fun and if you wish to join me let's go but for all these people out here who are trying to have i am not here to have to be no offense but i'm not here to be uber you know bombastic super story oriented blah 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 no i'm just here to play games i'm here to be like old youtube where you just come in, you play games, boom, that's all you have fun with. But I am here to have fun, play my games, and just hopefully y'all enjoyed with me. Um, Like I said, I have some insight on games that I've played, like this one specifically, I have a lot of insight on. Um, Or maybe not even insight, but it's just back in... See, I... Uh, just give me a second. He takes, he takes, he speaks a lot. I hate you so much. I am a CL4P TT steward bot, but my friends call me Claptrap. Or they would if any of them were still alive, or had existed in the first place. Oh, I've got something for you. I love that. Communicator that I totally didn't loot from one of these corpses. It comes with a Class 12 heads up display, complete with a mini map. Now, come, come, friend. Let's get you inside. Ooh, I have a lot. Oh, I have like. This is great. Now that I've met a mighty boss hunter, I can finally join the resistance in Sanctuary, take vengeance against Jack for killing my product, and repair my central processor so I stop thinking out loud. I wonder what it's like to have a belly button. Man, yad! I'll explain everything. Oh, shut up. All right, so back to the game. So, I am here just to play games. So I'm not here to make it bombastic. I'm not here to make it crazy. It is just gameplay. You watch the game, you enjoy, and that's just that's how we do. I don't have stories to tell outside of the game I'm playing. I just make some commentary about it, and yeah, that might be very dull, but I mean, it is what it is. Again, I don't have. I don't have the incentive to do it. I do not get paid by YouTube to do it. I am here to have... Ooh, you broke the... So, one thing about... The game was made in 2012. It's an oldie, technically. Oh my god, it's 12 years old. Holy shit. Damn, I didn't even realize that. But that means the game is not exactly prime anymore. But let's see. 
Alright, so I am playing as Maya, the um siren. Yeah, Mia yeah, Mia, Maya, the siren. Uh I am going to go health and Oh, what is it? Where am I? I'm going health and cataclysm, or harmony and cataclysm. I will not be putting any points in there. Because I just don't want to. I'm essentially a healing bitch. Or healing bitch, yeah. Ooh, we can do something. All right, so. Ooh, yes. Oh, that's Necromancer, you son of a whore. Um. Oh. Oh. Well, that sucks. That really sucks. But I gotta do some. I got to get rid of you. Cause I'm taking what? Okay, thank, thank you. Oh, uh, psh. so like I said, knowledge. Uh, those are discoverable. There are three to five in every area, no matter what. Uh, just how it's just how it is. Uh, they're very hard to find sometimes because they are not they are not Ooh. also this is a little secret where you press the table you get money this is not a secret but man ain't that sexy oh uh, this is a boost in Maya so with a boost in Maya you start at level 30 oh sh oh I have too much stuff in my pocket get out of here Why are you so quiet? Apart from the excruciating pain, this is great! I've been waiting for a mighty vault hunter to help me reach sanctuary! I will be your wise leader, and you shall be my fearsome minion! <laughs> He's crazy, by the way. Yeah, so sooner is gonna be better than later. That's weird. Oh, I forgot. Every time I shoot someone, they heal. I heal them, which is... God, that's a cool effect. I'm not gonna lie. Alright, so one thing I have not seen, which makes me really mad, is a, is a, um, a midget looter. Or a loot midget. I haven't seen them yet, and it makes me mad. And that is what... Before you get pissed off at me, YouTube. In 2012, when this was made, they were allowed to call them midgets. That is what they were called. In the game, when I show you, there are there are enemies called Little Midget, um, Loot Midget, Little Robot Midget, or this like Robo Midget. There are certain there are villains or there are enemies called that, so I'm not gonna change it. Also, huh? Great. Just let me get this door Sorry. And we'll hunt ourselves a bully mob. I don't know what that is. I don't know what place that is. Who was he? He can be rebuilt. Restore Rich Flip. Restore Rich Flyder. I don't know any of these references. I am curious though, because this is a Jacobs uh, Claptrap unit made by Jacobs, but Jacobs is not necessarily... Jacobs exists. No, 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 never mind. Jacobs exists. Um, there's a lot of lore and I guess you would say little... I guess you would say little secrets around. But... <clears throat> Oh, I hate. Though Knuckle Dragger blindsided me, I know my way around this glacier. I bet you will find my eye in frostbite crevasse. Crevasse. Oh, this game is busted as shit. Oh, my favorite battle. My favorite. So. That is the only place you will be safe. Shut up! I want to stop. I want to talk. So don't forget, I can only play for 30 minutes, but... Mm. So, here's another little secret. Knuckle Dragger, the very first boss you have, has a 
higher loot drop rate for a very powerful gun called the Hornet's Nest. It is one of the most powerful corrosive guns in the entire game. It is also one of the best guns in the entire game. One of them is probably top 10. Specifically for damage output and corrosive chance. It has one of the highest corrosive chances. Why? Why would you do that? What, what, what is the matter with you people? But it also has a lot better. It has a better scale of DPS and base DPS in general. I also forgot I need to grab the Unkempt Herald. However, that is the best game and that is the best gun in the game. The Un Fox 5 Unkempt Herald or something like that. Like the 5 Fox Unkempt Herald is considered to be the base best gun in the entire game because the base is the highest. But the Unkempt Herald has the ability to shoot one round, but the bullets spread out and the bull there's one bullet that starts and then it slowly spreads into more. So it goes out as one, then it's like two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The five live the Fox five Unkempt Herald will do that. It has the highest de um base damage, but then it also has I think the most bullets spread. So I think it could add up to like 15 bullets by like the farthest yard after like 10 yards. So you can, so in general though, the Unkempt Herald is the best gun in the game. It will last you, if you're lucky and you get it a few levels higher than you, you can, it can last you the entire game, I think. Well, may, no, not that far. Not in this, not in this. No, it, it'll never last you the whole game, but it could, it, it, it will get you very far, very far. Oh, sh shut up. It is a very far, I know most of the, I, when I say I know most of the secrets of the game, I know most, like I would say 90% of them now. Voracious? The Invincible? Any of the Invincibles? I have not fought. Because they require four people, and... And I don't... Yeah, I have not fought any of the Invincibles. Because, uh, that's too... They're usually too high power... Too high of a power to fight. I've beaten all the... I've beaten all the DLCs. Oh, I'm on true Vault Hunter mode. Hello, secret lady. Oh, this is true Vault Hunter mode, the second um, difficulty. It is the most fun difficulty of all three. The first one's very simple, but it's kind of just like, eh, starting point. Middle is the best, third is the hardest. Third is considered to be... Considered to be the most bullshit difficulty of all the games. Because the third level essentially quadruples the health and damage of all the enemies of all their shields, all their armor, and they heal over time. So no matter what damage you do, they heal, their health will always go down. So you have to have a higher DPS than they do, or their shield. And their shields become far more resistant to other things outside of electricity. So I might show you it once, like maybe after this playthrough, I'll show you Ultimate Vault Hunter. It is, let's put it like this. Ultimate Vault Hunter is considered to be like, you have to play with four people. It is not meant to be played by yourself. Because it is just, it's essentially like, hey, you and... And the reason why there is... Okay, when I say there's a loophole, we say loophole... Oh, shut up. I don't want to talk. Shit. Okay, so, so the fourth difficulty that I probably, I probably, or the third difficulty I'll never get to, there is an element in this game called slag. Slag gets you, if it gets on a person, it makes all other types of damage four times more dangerous, or the DPS times four. So you essentially have to always switch weapons, but you also have to switch weapons to the element that you're about to shoot. So flesh. 
weak against fire, or fire is high against flesh. Corrosive against armor, electricity versus shields. You have to have essentially those three and a slag weapon at all times on difficulty three, or else you will never win. Not unless you find the unkempt herald, I guess, or um, not conference call. Um, unkempt herald, the hornet. Conference call is cool, but it's not very useful. Uh, you, I, the shields I don't know a lot about. I think there is. Tango Risky Foxtrot. Handsome Jack is beautiful. He's an amazing human being. I love him so much, but I hate him at the same time. Knuckle Dragger. This is gonna hurt. Oh my god! You killed a hooker! Call girls! No, she was a, Cyril! A call... When they're dead, they're just hookers! And I have to try and get. Oh! It does work on you. That's great. Oof. Ah, oh, you whore. Slut. Get back here. Oh, just give me a second, guys. Give me a second. I should be carrying her. Cyril, I paid her. I get to carry her corpse. Aw, oh, that was sad. So, this is also one of the best... <sighs> Damn it, you didn't give it to me, you shit. You did not give me the hornet. Give me the wi- So, I'm gonna do something for a little bit, guys, and you're not gonna like it. I'm sadly going to spam, uh... I'm gonna farm this boss for the hornet, because I want it so bad. Because it'll be useful for later. I will kill you! Guy, give me a second. It's just gonna be like this for a little bit. Open. Well, it was nice knowing you. I hear getting eaten alive by bully bugs isn't such a bad way to go. Let me get that for you. Executing phase shift. You're welcome. Perks of being an artificial intelligence. I'm networked into almost everything on this planet. It's a long way to Sanctuary. Please take whatever you need for the journey ahead. I'm sorry guys, I'm gonna um, farm this boss for a second, which is gonna be very annoying because you're gonna be seeing the same old... Uh, and it's the most weakest of... Uh, and you gotta take it. Because if you don't, you don't continue. I will kill you, you little shit. I am Nurse. Nurse Nina. Cleaning up the berg. Oh, oh god, I have four recoil reduction. Don't have that. Uh, shield recharge. Uh, they just never make it. Oh, that's what he did. Alright. I'm sorry, guys, but this one's gonna be a little annoying because I'm going to spam farm the uh, boss right there. Why? Why would you do that? What, what, what is the matter with you people? Because uh, I want the gun, and I'm gonna. I just realized I don't know what his uh I don't know his loot chance of dropping it at um difficulty two. See, the loot chance gets higher the dim different difficulty you go to, but it's still not like super high, so I'm gonna try it just for a few seconds. So all you gotta do is go to that Lynchburg, go back to that little room right there after you've crossed that um door. So when you open up and you get to that chest, just quit. And then press continue, and it will always spam you back into right there at that door, because that door is considered a spawning point. Bingo. And guess what? He's right there on the map. He's right there. Now, doing this too many times does cause a little bit of a kerfuffle.
So it does cause a kerfuffle because it might the, the programming might get a little wonky later. Okay, come on, drop down here. Come on, I need you down here. You kidding me? You still didn't give it to me? There was once... <sighs> okay, this is good. So the only good thing is it's really easy to kill. Bad thing is the chance of it dropping are very low. Legendaries in general are very low drop rates, so... Not unless he accidentally spewed it out up top. Let's see, let's see. Ooh, the only good thing is though, for some reason, he does have a high chance of dropping, um, reg these for some reason in in the environment for some reason. I've I've done that several times with this boss. It is very weird. I don't know why, because for anyone who doesn't know, skins are the are the lowest drop rates in the entire game. You can get the guns, but man, them drop rates will not will not go for you. So I'm gonna do this a few times. I'm sorry. I'm sorry in advance. It is just how I do it. The only good thing is if you have an Xbox Series X, it pops up. Or Xbox, yeah, Xbox Series X, it comes in and out very quickly. So I could get, I could defeat this guy very quickly and get it. No, it's not my business, but I think you might have a problem. The only problem is his loot explosion is not good at all. Uh, let me give it. Do you think that's wise? You whore, you still gave me the widow. Oh, the ornery revolver. The only good thing is he does drop higher level guns than you are which are technically always better for anyone who doesn't know this loot game uh every level is about a 13 percent increase to the last level so that's that's what it is so if you're you know third so i would have a 13 percent increase in my shields and health the next level i get so at 32 so it'll be like what 300, 3,000, like 900 something, which isn't bad, but that increase is to the base. So not just every, so everything increases. And I still haven't gotten a loot midget. Makes me mad. So if anyone wants to know why I'm complaining about loot midgets, and yes, I'm allowed to say that because that's how the game literally calls them, and that is what they're called. Loot midgets are legitimately what you think. They are exceptionally rare not well actually loot midgets are considered to be they're literally what they sound like they're very small little enemies that pop out of containers specifically specifically containers they have a one and i think a ten thousand every ten thousand boxes you have a chance of them opening up or I think it's like every 10 or maybe 20,000, there's a guaranteed one will pop out. When that happens, the loot midget by itself has a lot of health. It has like four times health in general, but no shields, never shields. However, they also have a higher, they have a very, very higher, they have a, they have a super high chance of dropping legendaries. I've, I've had one drop three or four legendaries on me, which is very, very, very hard to do. But, again, ooh, when I get to that point, when I get to that point, I will look it up for you, or I will do it for you, so you know the secret, um, there's a, there's a secret spot somewhere in the game where there's an automatic, like, four loot midges pop up, or have a chance to, so when you do that, you can kill them all, you can get, like, four loot midgets, kill them and you have like such a high chance of getting legendaries it's great but you have to do it very specifically and once you continue the mission afterwards it stops so you can either you know stay in perpetuity forever getting legendaries 
But you'll be, but it's also kind of close to the beginning or like in the middle of the game, so it doesn't really help afterwards because legendaries are great. Total sploosh. Actually, yeah, gotta give him the sploosh. Legendaries are great, but they're not forever. They don't last forever. Oh, God damn it. Oh, I. On, so he drops the Widow and the Ornery Revolver. God. But he also drops the Hornet, but again, I don't know. The true Vault Hunter mode uh, difficulty is good, but it's still not like the highest drop rate uh, the third difficulty is, and I don't even know if there's any way to increase. Because in Borderlands 3, you can like automatically, you can automatically increase the chance of drops with changing the difficulty or the mayhem mode. This is just, I think, base. Uh, give me a chance. I'm actually gonna look that up for you guys because I want to. Whoo, okay. So apparently, according to this, common probability rounded up and chances approximately 89.92 percent. So you'll very high to get. Um, Common is sure is common. Um, uncommon, 8.99%. So 1 in 10. Rare is 0.89. So 1 in 100. Very rare is 1 in 1,000 chance. Oh, God. Oh, God. There's a... Okay. So there are chumps. Oh, so they're called chumps, badasses, super badasses, chubbies, raid bosses, and named bosses. Chubbies are very specific. They are... They are very specific, bo um, not bosses. You'll in true Vault Hunter mode, they actually exist. That's when they start existing. You'll find like a chubby um rack or ryak, and if you kill it, it's kind of like a loot midget. It'll drop. A, it has a higher chance of dropping legendaries and other rarities, but they have a slightly higher chance of existing. I think slightly higher. Oh god. Um. Oh god. But wait, wait, wait. you know the cryptic toolkit you get when you load your map. Oh god, I'm not even gonna try and get into all that. I want to know the specific... I want to know the specific of... So... Ironically, guns, shields, grenades, class mods, relics, and then even after that is... Um... Cosmetics. Cosmetics are even the... So... Oh... Oh god, I hate that. Oh, I forgot about E-Tech weapons. Okay, so 9 of 10, 1 of... Okay, so there is something outside of Legendary. It is called Very Rare, also known as E-Tech. E-Tech is very specific. Oh my god. Okay, so Legendaries in this difficulty have a 1 in 10,000. So, not necessarily that you'll have... Most Legendary items are world drops, with two exceptions. The Norfleet and the Longbow. Don't know why they just are. I don't know. Oh, so they call the North Fleet is the most powerful. Um, yeah, they they won't give they won't give me any more specifics. But outside of that, guys, I'm sorry. I gotta end it here. We'll see you in the next one. All right, peace. Would you please focus?